What is going on, people of the extra net? Tyler here with Random Automotive. Today we're in the 2010 F-150. You can see a little bit of garbage there. Today we're gonna to show you how to disable your daytime running lamps that come on when you put the truck in gear. Now, if you have a fleet truck or an XL truck or a former fleet truck, and you notice that the vehicle, when you put it in a forward or reverse gear, the headlamps will come on. You can't really see it here, but here's a video of it in on the outside. That is because some fleet trucks that were uh, mandated in Canada, there's a law that they have to have those. And so for today, we're gonna show you how to bypass that. So you will need a Windows laptop. Sorry, this one's kind of in a funky view. The backlight's going out on the display and if I move it too much, it gets real finicky. And then we will need a ELM 327, which the link is in the, the description for this. Okay, so we got the adapter plugged in and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our program and connect to vehicle. You'll see it doing a couple things there. This vehicle's been in there before, so no big deal. It'll continue. Okay, so now it wants the HS MS CAN switch to be swapped to MS CAN. So to do that, we'll just go down here below, move that little switch over, and hit OK. All right, so everything is done there. So what we'll do to turn off the daytime running lamps is we're gonna go to the little computer chip looking thing, over to configuration and programming. And on the GEM SHB module, we're gonna click that and we're gonna click the little play button down there in the corner. It's gonna read a bunch of blocks and then you get some things you can do here. Now, if you haven't seen my video on how to disable the tire pressure monitor, it's up here in the corner, go check that out. That's a pretty, uh, pretty needed video for some folks. But we're just gonna go over to daytime running lamps, disabled, click the check mark, click right. So your old value is enabled, your new value is disabled, and click check mark there. It's gonna run through that procedure, and then cycle the ignition off and back on. So we'll turn it off, and start the truck back up. Now, when you put the vehicle in, any sort of forward or backwards gear, you no longer get daytime running lamps. So if you guys like this video, I'm gonna have a lot more Forescan stuff coming up soon. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, we're gonna have some more coming, so until next time, we'll catch you in the next one.